Hello, everyone. Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Market conditions uh, still bearish in the bull market. We were so deeply oversold that even this bounce that we've had hasn't moved this uh, at all. We'll spend a few minutes looking at that today. So uh, we we have talked about this location, though. It's not surprising to see a bounce. It happens uh, very commonly at these deeper extreme levels, particularly on momentum. So we now have seen that bounce off the bottom a little bit. It was all the way over here yesterday and starting to move back up again. A little bit harder on this chart to see that a uh, little blip right here, but it, uh, it did bounce off of this area and uh, uh, holding some support, at least for a day or two. We'll, we'll see if we get any type of continuation or follow through. The breadth also in that level where it's deeply oversold, but could bounce right here and then also sentiment. Now the sentiment is green up on this location here versus down here because there's not, there's just still not as much fear in the market. We're not seeing uh, price volatility or um, implied volatility on options identified by the VIX to uh, moving moving very much. It has been moving, but but not uh, not significantly. So we are seeing uh, an area where we could definitely see some market bounce and some positive sentiment still in the market. Now there's lots and lots of headwinds which we've talked about, but let's talk about buy sell ratio. This is the one that. This is an area that I wanted to start to see these curling back together now. Now that we've got this low and this low here, and uh, we could, and we've got that two part or three part counter trend move on the S&P 500. I talk about that pattern. We'll we'll go in and look at that. You can see the bounce a little bit better on the sentiment. Um, tab right here, which is this one, and then the, under the market trends. This, as I've pointed out, this is such a great spot to be watching for reversals. It happens pretty consistently uh, when we are oversold, and same with overbought in these areas. There's a couple different things to look at here on this chart as well while we're here. Volatility, we haven't seen it. It's kind of stuck right in the middle, and that's, that's a good thing right here for the markets to be able to have a rally and not have volatility uh, be in extreme one direction or the other. Uh, T notes and T bonds, these are the, the particularly the T bonds. This is the one also that we want to keep an eye on. If we can see bonds start to have a move back up again, then I think you'll also see stocks follow through with that. The other big factor right now is oil. So oil has had a big run up, it's got a new price high. If we look at USO, which is the exchange traded fund, the ETF for oil. You can see it's had a big, nice run up from July. And we're now, we're still in this upper buy zone of oil. And there's really no indication as of now that it's going to reverse. So you've got oil, which is expensive and going to be a factor in the economy and consumers here, you know, currently, and then going over, going into the next few months, and then interest rates are so high uh, that that's also created an issue for consumers. So I think the market is waiting for bonds to start to rally, which is the TLT. If we take a look at TLT, we have looked at this one the last few days because it is pretty significant, significantly oversold to the downside if we look at the one year chart. And but it is all the way over here to the extreme range. So uh, I'd be watching for a bounce in bonds right here. If that happens, remember what the opposite is interest rates are coming down if bonds are going up. So as this has been dropping, interest rates have been rising. That's a that's been one of the major concerns for the market at these levels. If we go back in, let's go ahead and look at those commodities again here if we go under sectors uh, we go under commodities and we can see that the leading commodity in this group obviously is oil um, gold has been has been having a sell-off here we talked about that pattern just a little bit but starting to see gold sell off but it is also at an extreme uh, something to uh, you know gold's always that safety that flight to quality uh, and it's selling off right here we'll see if we get any rally or support on gold but the oil chart here uh, is one of the uh, price patterns that we want to be paying attention to and see if we can get a retracement on that uh, let's look also at the sectors etfs to see if we got a budge in that trend at all yesterday uh, we did see energy so energy <laughs> energy is the only one that's positive right here back up into that buy zone that bullish buy zone 
And then also sitting up inside of that momentum location, bouncing uh, right off that support, that two, three, six area in energy also. Let's go, let's look at the index, look to see uh, if we've got any move in the Dow, the buy sell ratios, they're still around that 20, still in that 20 range. Uh, and then S&P 500, the SPY chart is the one that we've looked at the last few days bouncing off of this 618 area. We talked about that yesterday. It was just deeply ex extreme to the downside, bouncing off of this 618 support area of this trend high and this trend low. Uh, this actually, this this bar right here, if we, if we take off the signal indicator, uh, you can see we've got just an up day, a, 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 a gray or a green day where it actually closed higher than where it opened. It opened here, so you're going to get this grayed out bar. If it closed lower than the open, you get the red bar, but you're seeing a bottoming tail bar and then an up day. So you are seeing buy and interest happening right here. Whether it just bounces back up to this level and, revo and ro rolls back over, that's really what we want to keep an eye on. But it is finding some support right here. And this is the three part counter trend that I talked about. Uptrend, ABC, retracement inside of a buy zone. This is a corrective buy zone. I talked about that versus a momentum buy zone. If we on a stock or a market, if we're up in this upper two, uh, quarter of this, the chart, that'll continue that momentum. If we retraced a little bit deeper, it can still be a corrective move and still be a buying opportunity because this is the uptrend and the, this is the counter trend to that. It's just retraced that. And it, we had a big run and it's got a pause. We've got to have a pause in there, allow uh, the markets to recalibrate and determine where it wants to go from here. So that's kind of the status that we're sitting at right now. If we look at muscle stocks, there's a, a, some decent looking buys in there today. Uh, APLD, which has had a big deep retracement and is starting to move back up. Uh, those th these kind of stocks uh, they're okay, but I like the ones that have already moved and had a, that upper buy zone. <clears throat> Pardon me. So let's take a look at a couple others that are in there. Uh, let me just refresh this and see. Uh, let's get these new buys in here. APLD, CLS. So the next few. So this is actually a really nice looking pattern. Really solid confirmation bar in the upper range of the of the momentum. This is a solid confirmation at five percent allowing a stop loss either at the low or even at the bar, depending on how tight you want to manage that initial capital. When that initial capital is going in, you want to have a stop loss in place until it starts to move and trend and you can kind of get an idea of where it's going from there. Once we're playing with the house's money, meaning once it's rallied and you've got some profits on the table, then you can adjust the stop or keep it where it's at or do whatever you want. I've talked about adjusting the stop loss using one of these lines because as the stock is moving higher it's going to snap automatically to the new high and adjust this number and just pull it along higher as long as it's moving higher uh, to have at least a stop loss in place is a good idea you never know what you know news items might come out there's always you know fda F, fda if it's a drug stock or earnings or lots of different things that could happen that could really create a sell-off and it still may provide a sell signal but the sell signal may be way below where you actually want it so uh, just just a just a way to protect against anything crazy that really moves the market cls it's also a good looking one powl I, I like this one even more because it has moved it's the first buy signal after a sell signal and that's really what the system overall on a back test is tracking it's going to take the first buy signal after a sell signal and then it's going to exit on a sell signal here so here you have it a buy and a sell here you have a buy and a sell now you have a new buy if we were to go back in and back test that to see what that looks like just with these signals alone and kind of see that outcome here's your two trades one 18 percent or one 21 percent or and that's the signal analysis for this stock just on these two signals so this is new buy signal after a sell signal really allows a clean entry into a new trade uh, some other ones that are looking good well jbl that's a big 18 percent move on a breakout uh, buyout stock, PAR. This is another oil. This is an oil stock that I also liked that had gone from a from this sell back to a buy. Okay, just like here and here. So you have this uptrend, 
here becomes your first sell signal. Now just remember that this, you know, we can't play the game of, well, man, I shouldn't have sold because now I sold that I have to rebuy at a higher price. That That's not the game. The game that we're playing is one trade at a time. This, this from here to here, this is over. That trade is now over. Now, this is a whole new trade. We just have to get this out of our minds and say, okay, we it could have done this just as easily as it did this. So now you're out. You would have been patting yourself on the back saying, okay, that was a great move. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so each new trade is its own new process. So if you get stopped out or you exit a trade and you have to re-enter at a higher price, then so be it. That's just the na that's the nature of the methodology. Uh, some good-looking stocks in there today. Everyone have a fantastic day today. That'll do it for today's update.